ニヤニヤしちゃってまた何か変態チックなこと考えてる That creepy grin. Are you thinking perverted thoughts again? Christina to it took Aki Sama. You said your name's Christina, right? Darega Christina, da, Stokoto no itranga. Who the hell's Christina? I never said that. Christina sounds like the name of a Hollywood film star. It definitely has more flavor than her real name. If you wish to learn the secrets of this microwave, then you must meet my conditions. Which are. Condition 1 you must become a lab meme. Ramen? No, lab meme. Stupid. Short for laboratory member. You mean you want me to join your research team? I'm supposed to return to America in August. I have you sign a non disclosure agreement so you won't betray our secrets. Break the agreement and I'll report your steamy, steamy perverted acts to Science Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> You're a monster, Okarin. I'll take five copies. From the moment you became become a lab meme to the moment of your departure, your brain shall be used for the benefit of our lab. You're so full of it. Let's see the contract then. What contract? This is a lab, not a corporation. I don't mind lending you my knowledge. But if there is more pervy nonsense involved, the answer is no. Don't worry, we don't bite. No more molestation? No, alright. You said that was condition one, so there's gotta be a second one, right? It better not be. Second condition is that you'll overlook all past acts of molestation I may or may not have committed. Uh -huh. Karin. You're so petty. You're the pettiest person I ever met. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. Full quote. That's why we love you. That's why we admire you. A quotation from the popular manga Juju's Bizarre Adventures used to express awe at someone's capabilities, often used sarcastically in reference to negative character traits such as pettiness. <laughs> Shut up, Daru. You have no right to talk. By the way, Daru's perverted acts aren't included. You two can work it out or yourselves. What the hell, man? Those are the conditions. If you can't accept them, then you must leave at once. So, 
悪くない取引だと思うかな<笑> So, what will it be? I don't think it's a bad idea at all. You mean for you? Kurisu puts her fingers to her brow and shakes her head in an exaggerated gesture. Jeez, I feel like I'm hyper secreting Nora nor adrenaline. Let me pick my jaw up off the floor. A neurotransmitter secreted in the brain. Proper name Nora f- Norpine Free. Fr- what? Norpine Frine. Frine, or whatever. Secreted when in an excited emotional state. I don't care about your dislocated jaw. Do you accept the conditions or not? Answer me, Christina. Stop adding Tina. My name's Kurisu. Kurisu looks up at the ceiling to calm herself down. Does everyone? In America, makes such exaggerated gestures. Sooner or later, she'll say, Dayum, or Oh my god! <laughs> What's that? Dayum? Oh my god! Or Motherfucker! <laughs> okay, I accept. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. From this moment forth, your lab meme number 004. Welcome, Christina. The zombie. Kone, the zombie. I won't answer to either. Use my real name, Hoyoin. <laughs> I mean, staring at each other, each other down. Kurisu's the first to look away. She does so in a way that says good grief. You're such a shy. You say something, genius perv girl? Come on, no more saying perv. I won't treat you like a perv either. So let's drop it already. As long as, long as you understand. Now for the issue at hand. Daru, give Christina. No Tina either. Give Kurisu's Kun an explanation on our experiment so far. But I refuse. A quotation from a popular manga, Juju's Bizarre Adventures, on the internet it's, it is used frequently as a cool way to turn someone down. In the end, I'm the one who has to explain. Along, along the way, I also relate the tale of my heroic deeds, which enrages Kurisu, of course. But I finally tell her everything about the bananas and the phone wave named subject to change. Kurisu doesn't ask any questions. She's quick to understand, as expected of a genius. Fascinating. Let's hear your opinion. I think we can at least throw out completely worthless theories like electromagnetic weaponry and teleportation. The lady, though, 
protest too much. Can we run the experiment one more time? I want to see it for myself. Without waiting for our approval, Kurisu plucks an untouched banana and sticks it in the microwave, then starts entering the commands on her phone. It's strange. She's still wearing her usual frown, but I can't shake the feeling that she's re really enjoying herself. I can't put my finger on why, call it a hunch. But I mean, she is a scientist. Why shouldn't she enjoy experimenting? Okabe-san, Hashida-san, please watch the bananas. Who are you to give me orders? I am the mad scientist. Hoyo! Whatever, just keep your eyes on the bananas. Okay, so she's a little snippy. Heru and I do as we're told and stare at the bananas. Truth be told, we were planning to watch the bananas anyway. After missing it the first time, we are determined to witness what transpired with our own eyes. 60 seconds had passed and changed. Nope. In a second now, the jellified banana should reappear on the stem. If it only happens once, we can just call it an accident and be done with it. But if it happens twice, then that's proof there's something actually going on. Actually going on. And then, Kurisu will have to admit that I. The great Huyuin Kioma have invented humanity's first teleporter. I keep staring at the bananas in anticipation. 100 seconds. A few moments after Kurisu's report. Oh! Huh? The gel banana suddenly appears without sound. No, there are two of them on the bunch. It happened faster than a blink of an eye. It's weird. I'm at loss for words. I just witnessed the unthinkable. This phenomenon is clearly a teleportation. The microwave timer shines. Kurisu peeks into the microwave stump. How does it look? Huh? Oh, uh... At, at 104 seconds, it disappeared abruptly. Yeah. She's quite flustered. I don't think many people could remain calm after witnessing such a phenomenon. So it is a teleporter, the first in human history. Kurisu quickly calms down. She furrows her brow and crosses her arms, tapping her right foot as she mutters to herself. Teleportation? Is that even possible? It did move, no matter how unbelievable that may be. Could it be quantum teleportation? No, that only occurs on the quantum level. Don't avert your eyes from the truth. What you've seen with your own eyes is everything. She gives me a sharp lip. Her eyes are like a sniper's, hard and keen. Did it really teleport? It's dangerous to reason from the conclusion. 
Well then, Yinusko, what do you call this phenomenon? 